you don't get to choose the life you're born into, but you can control how you live it. When I was six years old, I was sexually abused by my uncles. I grew up with a poisoned introduction to sex. Trusting other people to save you, do not think too highly of them. They are only humans who have not stopped breathing yet. As I grew older, I just had sex with whoever wanted. It was just a game to me. This is what I was told. When I was 15, I fell pregnant. I had no idea. And at eight months, they had to terminate the baby. My whole world was crumbling. I tried to tell my father about everything that happened, but he couldn't believe his own brothers could do something so horrible. I had to run out from home. Do not think too highly of them. They are only humans who have not stopped breathing yet. At 22, I fell pregnant again and I found out I was HIV positive. I was a single mother struggling on the street, begging, surviving. There was no meaning for life and I had no one to teach me. I had no idea how to fix my life. I decided to tell the men that wanted to sleep with me and they looked at me differently, with respect. I had decided HIV stops with me. Many men came, but as soon as I told them I was HIV positive, they ran away from me. But there was one man who wanted to stay even though it meant he had to disobey his own family. They even called me a rotten avocado. They couldn't understand what he saw in me. Growing up, all that we are told is that if you have HIV, you will die. But that's not the truth. I was so ashamed, but I needed to tell someone. They couldn't understand what he saw in me. We got married, and everything in my life was about to change. I learned that everyone has their own story, their own struggle, and all we can do is to make the best of that time given to us. I decided to wear my status proud. I wrote HIV positive on everything, on my earrings, my clothes, my shoes. This is who I am. I am defined by HIV, but I am not limited by it. I'm living happily with my husband and our three-year-old son who are both HIV negative. This is a testimony of how ARVs work. And my beautiful HIV positive daughter, who is as brave and joyful about life as me. You can live a happy life on ARVs. We all are capable of extraordinary things. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun. <laughs> what happened? For sure. Yeah, really? seriously. Yeah. Had fun. Okay. <laughs> huh? no. I never thought my life would turn out like this. 